The topic for now is leadership, principles, and skills. This is used in all the different domains that we have that a project manager or a business analyst should be working with. Some of the learning goals we have over here is first, what is leadership? Then principles of leadership and interpersonal skills used by business analysts and project managers. Let's take a look at the slide that we have. We have only one slide. First, let's see what is leadership. Where does leadership come from? What are some of the principles of leadership? And what are some of the skills that a business analyst or a PM should use? Leadership is a process whereby an individual influences a group of individuals to achieve a common goal. Successful projects require strong leadership principles and skills. Leadership is important through all the phases of the project life cycle. Leadership involves focusing the efforts of a group of people towards a common goal and enabling them to work as a team. Respect and trust rather than fear and submissions are the key elements of effective leadership. Business analysts accomplish work through the project team and other stakeholders. Effective analysts require a balance of ethical, interpersonal, and conceptual skills that help them analyze situations and interact appropriately. So to be a leader, you should be able to influence the team. You should have strong leadership skills and principles. You should respect and trust the teams rather than work with fear and submission. One important thing to know here is you are working in a group towards the same common goal of finishing the project on time, on the scope that we have, on the budget that we have. So for this, you have to have a balance of technical experience, interpersonal skills, and you have to analyze the situation and interact appropriately to solve any problems if there are, to solve any conflicts that there are. Let's take a look at some of the principles of leadership. First one over here is achieve professional competence. So if you are trying to lead a team, it's of utmost importance that you should have competence in that project, that you should have experience in that project, that you should know what's happening in the project. The second one we have here is make sound and timely decisions. There'll be times when you will have to make decisions, even though a project manager is a person who makes most of the decisions. But even as a business analyst, there'll be times that you will have to make some sound and timely decisions. The third one we have is know yourself and seek self improvement. For a business analyst, it is of ex utmost importance that you have to keep looking to improve yourself, to improve your knowledge, to improve your techniques, maybe to learn different programs. How are you going to make the business analyst uh, work 
or how are you going to make the requirement management process easier? How are you going to handle the requirements in a certain way which would help uh, do a better job and make sure that you stay on your scope? So you have to try to keep working on self-improvement. Be technically proficient as a leader. It's your job to be technically proficient. If there are a lot of people involved in the process, then you have to know, you have to know what softwares I use. You have to have familiarity of what the other employees or other team members do. Okay, then the fifth one we have over here is seek responsibility and take responsibility for your actions. Everyone makes mistakes. But the important part here is rather than pushing your mistakes on someone else, you have to seek responsibility and take responsibility for your actions and your mistakes. When things go wrong, do not blame others. You analyze the situation, you take the corrective action, and move on to the next challenge. The next principle we see over here is make sound and timely decisions. We've already gone through that one before. Use good problem solving, decision making and planning tools. Okay, to make some timely decisions, to get up to certain decisions, you will have to go through the decision making techniques that we went through in the previous chapter. You should be able to be a good problem solver. Okay, so the next thing we have is set an example. So to set an example, you have to be like a role model for the team. As Mahatma Gandhi said, we must become the change we want to see. So that is why you have to lead the team by example and become a role model for the team. The next one we have here is know your people and look out for their well-being. So this is your team. You have to support them. You have to look out for their well-being. And this in turn will pay you well because they will work harder for you. Make sure that the project is completed on time. Keep your workers informed. So you should know how to communicate with them. Not only them, but even how to communicate with seniors, with stakeholders, with end users as to what your progress is. How many stories have you completed? What task are you going to work on now? What tasks are finished? All this, you need to keep the team members, the stakeholders, everyone informed. The last one we have over here is ensure that tasks are understood, supervised, and accomplished. And to ensure that, communication is the key. So you have to make sure that you communicate well with your team members, that you explain that they understand what these different tasks and these different user stories are. Okay, so for a business analyst, it is extremely important to communicate well. Now, these are some of the principles of leadership, but it's not like all of them, but most of them that you would like to incorporate as a leader. Now let's take a look at some of the interpersonal skills that are used by the business analyst. One being leadership, and that's what we've been going through so far. The second one we have is team building. Now you have to make sure that everyone works as the team towards the same goal. Now these are very common with even project managers. Even they have to have these same interpersonal skills. So you, you as a business analyst will be working with the team all the time. So you might come up with some team building activities. Then we have motivation. You should be able to motivate your team members. If you're a business analyst lead and you have 
10 business analysts working with you. So you should be able to motivate them, talk to them. If they do something good, you should be able to reward them by just saying maybe even thank you or good job done, you know, something like that. So the team always like to be motivated. Then we have communication. As I spoke before, for a business analyst, communication is the key. Unless the business analyst is able to communicate the user stories, the task to the team, the team is not going to be able to accomplish the goal of designing that part or the task as requested by the customer. So over here, you're communicating with the customer. You're getting all the requirements and then you're communicating these requirements to your team. So they are able to understand what were the needs and ta uh, what were the needs and wants of the customer and design accordingly. Then you have to be influencing. You should be able to influence the team in a positive manner. Influencing is something following by example. Okay, then we have decision making. Now we went through the decision making processes. There'll be times that you will have to make decisions in a team environment where you'll be making decisions with the project manager, where you, you will have to make decisions with the stakeholders, with the customers, with the team members. So you should have that quality of being able to make decisions. Then you should be politically and culturally aware of the team members in your organization. As a business analyst, you should be able to negotiate. Again, over here, you're negotiating with the team members, you're negotiating with the project manager, you're negotiating with the client, with the customer. Next one is you should be trust building. The team should be able to build trust in you. Then we have conflict management. Conflict management Conflict is something that is inevitable. It is going to happen. Team members might have some problems. So if there need be, then you should be able to manage the conflict. There could be conflict between stakeholders. So during the meeting, so sometimes you might have to manage these conflicts. So when we get to the conflict management chapter, that's where I'm going to cover all the different techniques that you could use to manage conflict. Then the last one we see over here is coaching. Now, if you're a business lead and you have a team of business analysts who are working with you, so not everyone is updated to the technology. So there might be times that you might need to coach them. Not everyone knows everything about the project. So there might be time that you might have to train them with respect to what the subject is or what the project is. So these are some of the leadership principles and some of the skills that are used in the industry by project manager. But obviously there are a lot more than this, but these are some that would help you become a good business analyst. Again, this is Tutor Ali. I'll see you next time.